Hey, look, Joe, I, I, I'm a 757 uh, young man at heart. That's where I grew up at. That uh, Oscar Smith team, they are dynamic. South County, they fought hard, and they'll be back, though. And here's the good news, Chad. This was still the best 6A team in Northern Virginia last year, and this is a very young SoCo squad. Coming into this season, those same group of kids that are back have been working in the weight room. They've been getting stronger. They've been getting bigger. I'm expecting that defensive front. They're not going to be as big as 19, but they're everybody's, everybody's athletic, and we should, be able to, we should be able to have some fun. No conversation about South County, or Virginia for that matter, is complete without talking about Brock Spaulding. He is, with, in, in my mind, without a doubt, the most game-changing player in Virginia. Quarterback Charlie Miska and wide receiver Dylan Dunn are gone for the Stallions. They also must replace three starting offensive linemen. Justin Amoka Hene looks very promising for the Stallions. He's long, athletic, 6'2", and I've had a chance to see him in camp last week, and he's a playmaker. Cam Hoskins came on strong at the end of the 2021 spring season. He had a huge catch for a touchdown in the state semifinal at Madison that stemmed a big push by the Warhawks in the second half. If he doesn't catch that ball, we, we probably don't win that game. Soko has lots of electric skill players. But between the two of the, the two kids that we have competing for, for a starting quarterback job right now, they together have probably put together a full series of, of varsity football. LJ Frazier, who Coach Rowe says is equally dangerous running the ball as passing it. He says he's tall, tough, and a very good leader. Jordan Dennis is more of a pocket passer. I watched him run the offense last week. He's not as tall, but carries himself with swag. Coach Rolander says both of those guys are battling it out for the starting spot to lead the defending region champs who have lost just one time since November of 2018. On defense, the Stallions always have a strong linebacking crew. This year, the two middle linebackers will bring some serious havoc to offenses. Tyler Olmeyer could be one of the region's best in 2021. He's going to bring something with him when he, when he, comes, when he comes to meet you in the hole. He's, he's strong. He, again, he's been, he's been here Every single workout, I mean, he's been putting some weight on. He's about 6'1", 6'2", close to, close to 200 pounds. Not a whole lot of fat on him. Flanking Tyler will be the senior state champion wrestler, Brian Gordon, who is fast and physical. Brian isn't, isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and get, <laughs> and, and get dirty with you. The Stallions defense is always quick. You can expect them to get after that quarterback. They open up next weekend at Woodbridge and coach Jimmy Longerbeam, who is in his first year down in Prince William County. And in just about a month, they will host Westfield in mid-September. First time those two teams have faced off since the 2019 state semifinal game at Westfield. Keyshawn Torrance, he's gone. And Joe Ball, 